Hi, it's Jeremy from Tweak Digital, and today I wanted to take a look at the new Datatail Smart 4-Bay Thunderbolt RAID system. This unit was provided to me from Oyen Digital, their local business here in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. I've been using one of their USB 3 Express cards for my 17-inch MacBook Pro. It's been working great. It's non-proprietary, so it works with any USB 3 drive. Uh, just got note that this new RAID unit was out, and I contacted them, they sent one over. I'm gonna chuck a bunch of two gig drives in there, so four two gig drives. And we are gonna, did I say gig? I meant terabyte. I'm gonna stick four two terabyte drives in there and I'm gonna test it out and see if it's gonna work uh, as a low cost Thunderbolt RAID for video editing. So let's take a look inside the box. One thing that I like about this already is uh, you can see the Thunderbolt cable, one meter in length, is included. Let's open it up and take a look. All right, well, that, that's a nice uh, presentation. It's got the uh, logo, looks, looks like it's in a bag uh, or a wrapper of some sort. It's got a quick start guide. Got the power brick drive handle. Bag of mounting screws. The included Thunderbolt cable. Power cord. And, uh, and the unit here. So let's see if we can get this out. It's, uh, it's got a carrying bag. Haven't really seen that before. That's interesting. Let's take it out. Uh, the size is nice and small. Seems good. Uh, that's the front. Back with the uh, power and uh, Thunderbolt cables. Dual fans on the bottom. And you slide the top off. Right, and there's the drive bays, along with some uh, extra mounting screws, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up with my drives and uh, see how that goes. All right, so I've got three drives already in the unit. I'm putting the last one in now. Uh, you simply take the drive bracket. Uh, the metal side up on the drive, line it up with the holes, and then insert the screws into the holes. What these screws do is uh, not only hold the bracket on, but the, I don't know what you want to call it, the like bushing on the outside is actually part of the, the guide system to uh, get the drives into the slots properly. So. Uh, just make sure that these screws are fully threaded onto the drive uh, because again these are the guides that fit in, in there and uh, they, do, they do slide. So when you insert them in you'll feel a little thump when the drive goes in and then the bracket will slide down and out of the way. I can see the uh, curved notches where the screws go. So you line that up, and it, it's a tight fit. It's, uh, it's not too snug. Of course, this is the first time these drives have been inserted as well. So there's the thump, and push that down, and you're ready to go. Now, I, what I did find is that two of the screws seem to be misthreaded or, or too big. I was unable to get them into the drives fully, so I used two of the extras. Thankfully, they did send four extras. And then you just take the top, it says front here, place it back on there and slide it forward. Your RAID is ready to power up. Another nice feature of this unit is that 
they include the SSD Smart Guider Kit. So you can put in a 9.5 millimeter thick SSD in here using this uh, guide, and you can even put seven millimeter in, and they include some extra um, mounting strips, damper strips they call them, to uh, make sure it fits inside here. And then you can put SSDs in the unit as well. All right, so I've powered on the unit. I've downloaded the RaidMaster software from the Datatail website. Um, it's kind of weird that it wasn't in the box, but I guess uh, it'd just be wasted because it wouldn't be current probably anyway. So I can see the four uh, drives in my unit, and I'm gonna go to my configurations. Okay, there they are, my two terabyte drives. And the options are create RAID, delete RAID, rebuild. And I am gonna create a RAID by selecting on all of the four disks. And I've got RAID 0 and RAID 10. I'm gonna go with RAID 0 on this. Hit apply. So it's gonna erase all the drives. Yep, that's no problem, they're brand new. And RAID is successfully created. I see the capacity is uh, 7.451 gigabytes, uh, so seven and a half terabytes out of uh, eight terabytes. Uh, it's not showing up on my desktop, so I'm gonna try uh, disk utility and see what that says. And then of course, we'll bring up our speed test to check that out. So uh, <clears throat> I see it shows up here as a Marvel RAID VD Media. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can format this. I'm gonna call it RAID 0. And we'll see how long that takes. Don't use it as time machine. Okay, looks like it's Looks like it's done and it's mounted on my desktop there, RAID 0. It says eight terabytes available. Let's try uh, the speed test and see what happens. So I'm gonna select RAID 0. And what do we want? Well, let's just start with the one gigabyte test and see what happens. Okay, wow, that's uh, flying right along there. Uh, faster than I expected right off the boat, but that's pretty awesome. Uh, you see I'm getting about 450, 480 megabyte per second write and almost 600 read. Um, wow, so that's dramatically faster than any other drive uh, I've ever hooked up to this laptop, that's for sure. Let's pump it up to a four gigabyte file and try that again. Okay, 480 almost and uh, almost uh, 590 read. So RAID 0 and the data tail Thunderbolt RAID is, uh, that's a, it's impressive speed. All right, I've reformatted two of the drives, two out of the four, as uh, RAID level one, and see what kind of performance we get out of that. And this will be the one gigabyte test to start. So it looks like RAID 1 is about half the speed, less than half the speed. So right under 200 megabytes per second for RAID 1. And uh, just, uh, just two of the drives right now are running as RAID 1 since uh, it doesn't allow you to do all four. And we'll switch it to four gigabytes. <clears throat> All right, I've just set up all four drives as RAID 10, and we're gonna take a peek at that and see what kind of performance we get. 
I'm hoping it's as good as RAID 0. That would be great. But here we go. It looks like it's hitting about 280 megabytes on the read and about 365, 290, 365 or so on the read here. So pretty good. Um, it's pretty decent performance, better than any drive I've got right now. Um, it's Thunderbolt. Uh, it's not too expensive. <clears throat> it looks like it's about the same, 280, 290 on the write speed. And on the read, it's going to be about 360-ish, 355. So pretty good. Um, Pretty impressed. I was worried a RAID 10 would be a little bit slower than that. I was thinking it maybe it'd be around 200 for some reason. And uh, the capacity now, this is uh, four two terabyte drives, but RAID 10 is uh, two and two. So I've, I've got four terabytes of capacity here, but it's redundant. So uh, two drives can go bad and I'm still okay. All right, that was my quick overview of the Datatail 4-Bay Thunderbolt RAID system. Again, it was provided to me by OEN Digital. I provided my own 2-terabyte Toshiba drives in the unit. Seemed to perform very well in my testing. We saw really fast speeds of RAID 0, 5, 600 megabytes per second. Just right out of the box, it was easy to set up. RAID 1, we saw 200 megabytes per second. And RAID 10, which gives you the speed and the redundancy combined, we saw about 260 write and 360 read. I'm gonna leave it as RAID 10. I'm gonna put it through its paces doing some video, even this one, and over the next couple of weeks and days, I'll, I'll just keep you posted on how it performs. I, I'm feeling good about it. I think I would recommend this to anyone who needs a, a compact uh, Thunderbolt RAID system for home or office use. I would also recommend this to professional photographers. I think the amount of data that they're generating on the photo shoots um, with the RAID 10 speed and redundancy combined would be perfect for them and uh, especially if they're going to be shooting some video on their sets as well. So I'm giving this product a thumbs up at this point. I urge you to go check it out. The price and performance seems like it's a real winning combination. Thanks for watching.